the KonMari method, um, how it differs from other organizing methods is that you um, organize by category, not by room. And the categories are clothing, books, papers, uh, miscellaneous, and sentimental. And then secondly, you want to um, visualize your ideal lifestyle. And why that is so important is that it's really a lesson in, in self-awareness. And because once you start the tidying process, which can be very tedious and overwhelming, if you really know your real reasons for wanting to do it, um, you won't rebound. And the first category being clothing. So you go around the house, you gather all the clothes, and you pile them on your bed. Um, and you start going through your clothing. And since clothing is such a large category, um, we break them down into subcategories, like all your tops, all your pants, etc., until you're done with clothing. And then the second category is books. Go around the house, collect all your books, put them in one big pile, um, and do it with books. Do the same with papers, and then miscellaneous, um, and then sentimental. And it's very powerful to see all your um, possessions in one place because when they're spread around the house, you don't get a real sense of how much you have. It's also important to note that the items that um, no longer spark joy for you, that you thank them, that you show them tremendous gratitude. It's like we are kind of closing out um, that item's life cycle. So with the basic KonMari folding method, um, I, I like to have my shirts, uh, I place them face down so the design um, stands out. So you wanna take one side of your garment and fold it across the body of the shirt and line it up with the tag to help you know how far to go. Then you wanna take the other side of the garment and do the same thing, but don't come quite all the way to the edge. And then you wanna take the, the bottom and pull it up to the top, but leave a little bit of a gap. And then fold it in thirds. And then lastly, stand it up.